Welcome to a very special Zach Collects, 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 Collects. Boy, I wish I had a real Echoplex. Anyway, this is part two of my deep dive into my Batman collection. You know, I just love Batman. Batman and Iron Man, that is my big jam. Now, I've got some pieces here that we're going to go through one at a time that you may or may not know about. Uh, some, of, some of these are from days gone by, and those are the Play Arts Kai figs, and we're going to take a look at all of those. And this very special one right here that didn't get hardly any love, and I can't believe it didn't because it's really, really cool. And that was a DC Collectibles uh, premium Batman. I, I really think that that's really what it was called. Premium Batman, I don't know. You can still find them. They're still available. Anyway, let's get into this in just a second. Okay, so I got him off of his uh, stand. And I have the faceplate on him that has the actual, you know, like the breather or rebreather on him. It comes also with a uh, masked unmat well rather it's masked but the half of the face is, is showing but this is the way i like to see them and what was amazing about this is just all the detail and the articulation points and the size i just think it's and it's and, you know it's very in, in, innovative innovative as i like to say the cape highly wired this is a very thick wire it will hold literally any pose you want it to go into i promise you it will um, and I'm going to tell you right now that I still think these are available on Amazon, and I certainly would say if you love Batman, grab one of these. It's highly worth it. Don't let anybody disparage you. Yes, the purple, it's very, very purple on the inside. Yes, yes, yes. But very cool figure and very great. It's, the size is wonderful. It, and the presence on your shelf is terrific as well. And it comes with, you know, batarangs and, of course, guns. In fact, this, this gun right here fit, was on the, it actually fits on the back of his belt. And uh, I imagine that's a, a grapple of some kind. And that fits on the back belt. Back here. Clip, clip, right there. So that is this Batman. This is a DC Collectibles Premium Batman. Still available. You can find them. I say get one. Now, what else do we have? What else do we have, Batman? Well, I'm glad you asked, Zachary. Because we have Mafex figs. So, I'm going to show you three Mafex figs, which I think are highly worthy. So this is obviously the Nightmare Batman which is also still available. And look how awesome that is. Can you believe all the detail in this? Look at the belts and the gun and the rivets. And there's even a Joker's card on the on the gun there, I believe. Yeah, it is right there. You can see Joker card right there. And uh, just highly cool. The only thing I never, I didn't like about it was you cannot put the goggles over his eyes. It, it's, it, this is how it, how it goes. Just that and that, nothing else. It does come with an unmasked head as well, but obviously this looks better. Wonderful figure, wonderful, and uh, and sturdy too as well. Now, what else do we have for Mafex? Well, we have, bum bada bum bum. Okay, we have the Justice League Batman, which everyone said was an improvement over their uh, Batman versus Superman Batman. And I don't know, I like that one as well. But we're just going to take a look at this one because obviously the detail is insane. It's sort of like they learned their lesson from the previous one, which is a little loose. Some of the joints are a little loose. These are nice and tight. I wish there was a wire in the cape, but there's not. Of course, you can always make one or buy one or whatever the case may be. Pretty cool, huh? Love it. Look, look at the face. Look at the face. That is Ben Affleck. Shrunk down to only six and a half inches. Okay. One more Mafex and we're all done with that. I, I, say, I alternate between Mafex and Mafex, by the, by the way. So this is, of course, The Dark Knight. And I loved this one because it had that, that goo bomb thing. <laughs> I like the goo bomb shooter. As you can see, there's a position on the belt to actually put the grapnel. And this this does have a wired cape. And it is a good wired cape. Very, very nice. Any kind of a position you want to make, it will make for you. Because it wants you to be happy. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because he's vengeance. So that's a cool fig as well. All those are Mafex or Mafex, however you want to pronounce that. Now we're going to get into something I love. There's a company called Play Arts Kai. It's Square Enix. I'm going to say it real slowly. Square Enix Play Arts Kai. So they made a line of Batmans that were almost fantasy Batman, if you will. What would, be, what would Batman look like if? So this is Batman in his hugely, highly armored getup. It has all kinds of things going on here. It literally would take you a week and a half to look at everything. 
batarangs, bat bombs. It's got a huge grapnel. Look how big that thing is. And it is heavy, my friends. Heavy, heavy. You see, he's pushing 11 inches too, by the way. And I want you to see this cape. Take a look at the cape. Even the cape is armored. It's got armored bits on the end of it. So this is a highly stylized fantasy version of what an armored Batman would look like in the eyes of Square Enix play arts Kai. I love it. I love my Square Enix Batmans. Very in, in, innovative. There, I said it again. Innovative. Say it with me. Innovative. Nice stuff. Okay, let's take a look at some other ones, shall we? All right, now this one took a lot of heat. Again, Square Enix. Play Arts Kai. This is the Steampunk Batman. Steampunk Batman. Take a look at that. Look at... at I'm telling you. I don't know how... They must, they must have had 150 designers working on this thing for five years to come up with it. Look at the detail on that. That eyepiece alone is awesome. Look at all the detail on this thing. Lots of things going on. You know, armored piece on the shoulder there. And the chest has got the gears. You, you, can you see the gears? Is he, can you make those out? See the gears underneath the plastic? Under the clear plastic? Look at the grapnel on this thing. That is interesting, isn't it? Batman, if Batman were steampunk. Look at the belt. Wow. The knees, the feet. It's just, it's just something. It really is. And of course, and by the way, I didn't mention this also. Play Arts Kai capes, they usually come in pieces, so you can put them in all kinds of configurations. You're not, you're not hampered by that. You know what? I just noticed this too. Look at the inside of this cape if you can. Those are jets. I guess so you can fly? <laughs> Yeah, not bad for a 19th century Batman. There you go. Pretty neat stuff, huh? See the gears in the back here? Can you see those? Right there? Yeah. All right, so that's that one. Uh, we're going to look at one more Play Arts Kai, and then we're going to move on. All right, now you remember the Arkham Knight? You remember the games, right? The Arkham Knight, Arkham, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, blah, blah, blah. This is their version of an Arkham City Batman. And yeah, you can tell it's a little stylized. You know, there's a, there's a little bit of anime influence like in the face. You see that? But I love it because there's there's so much emotion there. There's so much going on. And uh, I love the fact that, once again, I love the size. I love the detail. Very, very nice. See, there's this grapnel, which we're very familiar with if you ever saw the game. And is battering. Turn them around a little bit. And as you can see, the cape is in sections. Like I've told you before, the Play Arts Kai, they, they always section their capes. But um, very cool. Size is awesome. All of these are about 11 inches. And that's, I think, pretty cool. There's that. And now for something completely different. I don't know if I've shown you this before, guys, but Lego makes these. They're, they're awesome. They're three-dimensional. And this is the Batman face. And I, I forget what they call these, and you'll forgive me. But uh, look it up. Go, do a Googleish. Do the Googleish. These are really, really cool. I've only seen them in stores once, and they, I guess it was Target that I saw them. This one I actually ordered from Amazon. They're not expensive. I'm around 20 bucks. So that's that, because I wanted to show you that. And uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, last thing, last but not least. I would be remiss if I did not do this. I don't know how we're going to do it with the camera, but we'll try. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. Now, this guy is our special edition, exclusive edition, rather, Justice League Batman. And he sits proudly on my desk where he shall remain until time immemorial. Hot toys. Oh, my gosh. What a wonderful piece. What a wonderful piece. If you can afford a Hot Toys, get a Hot Toys. And by the way, you know, you can pay for it on time. You can go to sideshowtoy.com and you can pay for it on time. So you don't, you don't have to pay the entirety of it up front. I, I think these are still available. I think. Came with uh, various face plates, of course. But look at that. Is that not Ben Affleck? Yes, it is Ben Affleck. All shrunk down for our amusement. Woo! 
Well, oh, by the way, we're looking at him, so might as well look at my hair. I tell you what, we'll take a look at this guy too. This is that's my dog. Forget it. He's 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 just he wants to meet a pet him again. This is also a Justice League Batman. This is the armored one. Cool, yeah. And next to him is Von Der Feynman. <laughs> She's pretty cool looking, I think. It's not a hundred percent Gal Gadot, Gadot, but it's pretty close. Nice stuff. Okay, well, we've taken a look at some more of my Batman collection. So this is part two. Trust me, there's going to be lots of parts. Now, listen, don't forget to like and subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You know, if you, the more of you that subscribe, the better it is for me to make videos for you. And it encourages me as well. And I thank you in advance because you guys are awesome. And uh, don't forget, collecting is fun. Make it fun. The day it stops being fun, that might be the day you decide, I think I might not do this anymore. But have fun with it. Collect. Enjoy yourself. And we will see you soon. And we're recording this right now. Uh, December uh, 14th, no, what is it? December something. December, <laughs> December 14th. It is the 14th. December 14th, and it's 2020, and I wish all of you very happy holiday, a Merry Christmas. Whatever it is you're celebrating, enjoy it and celebrate life, and let's let's get over this pandemic thing that we've been having to go through, huh? And let's have fun. Have fun. Well, have a good one. Goodbye from Zach. Collects, collects, collects.